Alright guys, we're on Tool 2000 here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to upload your own mod pack um, to the Technic Launcher. So, the three things you are going to need, guys, is your choice of mod, or mods, you can put more than one in, obviously. Um, forge um, the Minecraft version, and the Universal, make sure it's the Universal, not the installer, make sure it's Universal. You're going to want to rename this instantly before you put it anywhere. Is mod pack without any capitals. Then you're going to have a folder like this with three folders inside called mods, config, and bin. Bin, open that up. And what you're going to want to do then, do, um, do then guys, is drop the forge into there. Go back, go into mods, place your mods in here, your choice of mods. I'm just using one so it goes quicker. Um, then guys, go back to this. Now, I have had a lot of people um, in my previous channels um, archive this folder. You don't want to do that. You want to open that folder up, select these three, right click with your archiver. Should be down here um, with whatever archive you should have. Um, if I just click on add to archive, give it a moment to load. Okay. So if you want to you want to rename this um, to mod pack no capitals because if, as you'll see in a moment um, when I show you I will already have one up there that I'm using for um, my mod pack on Technic at the moment so yeah mod pack without a capital M it doesn't really matter um, so yeah if you just compress that save on PC then use desktop select there we go so now guys you should have this you want to rename this and take out the one if you already have one on the desktop I'm not sure if you'll let me do you want to rename no alright so I'll just move this into there for the moment there we go so if we just do a mod pack like that, that's perfect. Now guys, you, you can close this up and open a browser. I do recommend Chrome because you get the best um, like performance for all these websites. Um, like it supports them better than Internet Explorer. So what you want to do is drag this mod pack zip and make an account at copy.com. As you can see, copy.com. I'm in um, my account right now. This mod pack right here is the one I'm using already for my mod pack on Technic. Um, but all you want to do, guys, is find upload. Drag down to modpack.zip. There you are. Open. Now, as you'll see, guys, in the background in a moment, it will have a faint grey line or bar going right across. Um, this might take a little bit of time, so I'll pause the video. Um, but all you want to do is wait till that goes past, and these three um, details have been filled in. You won't have shared at the moment because I think it's like a little bug at this stage. Um, but I will report that sometime soon. So see when it's done, um, uploaded. All right, guys. So I'm back, and we are just about to finish uploading this zip. I did have to rename it um, for video. I don't think it matters um, what you name the zip, but it was counteracting with this one and it wasn't uploading. So there we go. You should have this come up saying your file, um, whatever the name was, and then was uploaded successfully. If you do have that, that means it's obviously uploaded successfully. Um, so all you want to do now, guys, is click on this. Wait for this part to load. Click more, click copy link, just wait for this part to load with the URL, there we go, 
if you just click on this guys it copies it automatically for you um yeah so there we go now guys make a, a account at technic technicpack.net make an account for there and it will lead you to this page um this page right here all you want to do then guys is hover over this of your um, name <clears throat> click create a mod pack just give this a second to load all right there we go so because i'm using forge 164 for my aimed minecraft version of 164 you gotta change this uh where is it there it is click that um then if you just name it tests and nobody will play it do not download that'll work Then if you just click I agree, create mod pack, give that a second, oh, that isn't very nice, alright, just name it anything, alright, whatever, that'll work, um, so now, we have 164, there we go, you obviously won't name it that, you can name your mod pack whatever, like I've named mine, um, Ryan Soul 2000 Survival Series. Um, so yeah, that's all you have to do for that. Create mod pack. That should work. Oh, short description. I forgot about that. This is a test pack. There we go. Should work. <laughs> all right, give it a second. There we go. So now, guys, you want to click Edit Mod Pack down here. There we go. So in Mod Pack um, location, you will paste that URL that you copied from copy.com. If you just right click on it, oh, I didn't copy it. My bad. Alright, so if you click Copy Link. Public, there we go. Click on you, right click, copy, then go back here, mod pack location, paste that. Okay. Mod pack tags, if you have like a YouTube channel to go with it, just add it to there. All your mod pack websites, like my website to go with mine, is ryansaw2000.weebly.com. Um, but you just paste your website there and it should show up in the technique pack. And then you can have a look at all these. So in pages, wait for it to load. There we go. So what this will show, um, it won't show this, but I will just copy and paste this actually. So nobody downloads it, although I might delete it afterwards, I'm not sure. <coughs> so yeah. There we go, just paste that in there. There we go. Alright, then um, what you can do, like in this one, you can say um, just a short description um, of what this mod pack is about, um, what it's for, and like just saying, like to go with my YouTube channel. For help, you can leave like a link to your website or something where they can email you um, for help. That's like what I've done. Um, permissions and licensing. Just in case you have copyrights for your um, mod packs so nobody else can take your stuff. That's fine. Then just click update mod pack at the bottom. For any changes on any page, always click update mod pack. Alright, just wait for that to load. Give it a moment. All right, it's loading. All right, guys, I'll be back when it loads. <laughs> All right, there we go. So now that's worked, you can go over to the next page called resources. And what this does, guys, um, you can add a mod pack icon. Like my icon is a zombie driver icon. 
like it might show up as wave monster there um that's my skin name but believe me it's zombie driver i might show you at the end actually my mod pack um but yeah mod pack um, logo will be like this sort of sized image um on the front of your mod pack both on this website um and the technic launcher the background is just the textures in the background like the background right now is this um but you can change that and then click always update resources versions there we go so if you're updating the mod pack with new mods or changed up a few things um you can add a new version number and a change log for people that want to look at the changes obviously um that you've made to the mod pack and then click update version you guessed it contributors All you can do now, guys, um, as long as they're on Technic, um, on the technicpack.net, as long as they have an account there, um, you will be able to type their username in and add contributor. That's only if um, they have helped you make this mod pack or they play on a server with you. Solder, I don't really know too much about, so I'll leave that alone. Um, and then, guys, all you do is my mod packs go back to there and then any changes you've made you should see there so here's my mod pack guys um that i'm using for my youtube channel already um so yeah and then is the test pack so all you do from now guys is go on to here all right give it a second so all you want to do guys is click this, click install this mod pack, platform URL. Oh, I didn't click update, did I? Alright, give me a second guys. Ah, there we go. We just paste you there. Oh. All right, so if we just copy you, paste you, that should work perfectly. If we just scroll down, click update mod pack. I forgot to do that. Okay, give this a second to load. Okay, there we go. You want to make sure it says changes saved on all the pages whatever, when um, you mess with any of the details. You want to make sure it says changes saved. So, yeah. Now, you should be able to go to my mod packs. Go to your pack. There we go. So if we click, this should be configured now. Click install this mod pack. Then, guys, you want to, if you haven't already, download the um, Technic Launcher from there, from that page there. If you have, just go to your downloads. And it should be in there unless you took it somewhere else. So I'll just wait for this to load. And I will be back when it does. All right, guys, so it has loaded up. And here we go. So if we go into mod packs, you can see I've downloaded mine already. And as I said, guys, you have the zombie driver icon there. This small logo here, um, about the same size as that advertisement back on the website. And then the background, I've chosen the bloodshot camouflage from Black Ops 2. There we go. So if you just paste the API link that you got from the website, you should see your mod pack load up here. And the description, this is t a test pack, do not download. Um, so if we just install, um, there's nothing stopping us guys, and the actual mod pack is only like 2 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long, especially on my internet as well, I'd be really ashamed if it took long. Alright, just wait for this to download, just to show that I've done it correctly like.
Oh, it's going a bit faster than it's speeding up. That's pretty nice. There we go. All right, there we go. Now it's just installing Forge from the bin folder. Now it's downloading Minecraft or installing it, same thing. Now it's just making sure it's got everything. Everything that it needs, especially. And there we go. Now it's downloaded, guys. If you just click play. It doesn't auto load on mine, so I don't know if it will on yours unless it's something to do with the settings. Um, but yeah, so just wait for this. There we go. And once you know when the launcher goes, unless you have changed it in the settings, obviously, um, you should see that the launcher drops out. Um, I don't have the console on this one showing, um, but on my new computer when I get it, you will notice that the console shows a lot. Because I prefer to show that when I know what's going on. I could show any dangers in the mods um, conflicting and everything. So yeah. It's good to have. <clears throat> so you guys. This looks like it might take a while as well um, to load. Like first time load up. It always takes a little longer. Um, so I will be back when it loads. Alright guys. We seem to have loaded. And if I just go in mods. You should see here that we have Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge Mod Loader, Minecraft Forge, Applied Energistics Core, and Applied Energistics. Obviously, there will be more depending on how many mods you put in. So, if we just load this up, you'll see, guys, I have FPS in the corner um, just for performance. And this will be just like um, a normal Minecraft, like when you normally download it. Um, so, I'm just configuring mine to go correctly. And if we go like this, video settings, normal, at max FPS, fast, brightness high, and decreased particles. There we go. Now guys, we should be able to play. Um, creative, I'll just show you that it works, guys. Um, classic flat, why not? Okay, and I will be back when the world loads. Alright guys, so our world has loaded up around us, and as you can see in the bottom left corner, um, Applied Energy 6 is loaded, and there you go, there's all of Applied Energy 6 things. Alright guys, so... As always, thanks for watching. Um, please do like and comment because I love to hear um, your opinion of my videos. If you have any improvements, such as, I don't know, um, a new update of the Technic Launcher, perhaps, and you don't know how to do it, just ask me um, and I'll make a video. If you want your name mentioned in one of my videos, that's fine by me. Um, just leave a comment and I will try my best to get an advertisement of you and your channel in my video. So, thanks for watching guys, take it easy.